Today Living Legends, 87-year-old astronaut Buzz Aldrin got a standing ovation last night when he made a rare appearance at the Super Bowl. And Al, you had the chance to sit down with him recently at the Kennedy Space Center. It was a real honor inside the Apollo Saturn V Center. Buzz told me that while his moonwalking days are behind him, he now hopes to see people on Mars. It's a launch pad very much like this. You bet, yeah. You took off from. A duplicate, sort of. What was it like when you're lifting off from a launch pad like this? There was not a sensation of leaving the ground. Really? The ankle has landed. July 20th, 1969. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin become the first two humans to set foot on another world. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. 600 million people, the largest television audience of that time, tuned into NASA's historic Apollo 11 moonwalk. Magnificent desolation. Beautiful, beautiful, magnificent desolation. I mean, that's, that's, that paints a picture. You look around and you know up here that this hasn't changed in 100,000 years. It's the same, just gray. I don't want to talk about how many different uh, shades, but <laughs> at least 50. <laughs> you said that, okay. I didn't. At any point, were you afraid at all when you were up there? No point in worrying about something that hadn't happened yet. Nearly five decades later, 87 year old Aldrin has remained an untiring advocate for human space exploration, influencing multi generations of popular culture. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. From Toy Story's Buzz Lightyear Star Command. to MTV's Video Music Awards Moon Man statue. The iconic picture that Neil Armstrong takes of you. Yeah, so spontaneous. I was kind of walking toward the side of the spacecraft, and uh, he was over here, and he said, hey, hey, look. And you With can the see, visor. and the visor, you can see Neil. In a, in a sense, Neil actually kind of took, took a picture of himself. He, he, he took one of the first selfies. No, no, <laughs> mine, mine, this is 69. Mine was in 66. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go to Mars? No, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm a, I'm a dash man. I'm not a long distance outdoors man, but some people are uh -huh. and we need them. They're called explorers. But you're an explorer. Well, yeah, I'm an uh, uh, explorer of uh, numbers, uh, circles, graphs. Okay, would you go back to the moon? I'm of more value right where I am. Do you believe that there's life out there, other life out there? If you use the word believe, you gotta back it up some kind of evidence. One last thing. Are you a Star Trek or a Star Wars person? Oh, I probably wasn't either, but uh, somehow I got to being logical about what do we know and what do we not know. Sounds like Spock to me. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, uh, my, my ears are around, kind of round. Uh, <laughs> He's so amazing. He really is. And sharp. Uh -huh. I know. I mean, in fact, gave me a great coat that I wear proudly, although if I can get away, get it away from Leela. Uh -huh. it's, you know, yeah. it's a NASA jacket. Oh, it's man, you're not allowed oh, to accept look. that, technically. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, 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 Leela's yeah, yeah. got it. <laughs> All right, Al, thank you. <laughs> Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.